Welcome back, guys. So in this video, we're going to be talking about inheritance. Again, inheritance is another one of the OOPS concepts, right? On the, on the previous one, we talked about encapsulations. So on this one, we're going to be talking about inheritance. Uh, so before we get started, let's go ahead and uh, create a package. Again, I could have created everything in the OOPS OOP, but I'm just creating a separate one just so it's easier to visualize everything. So let's go ahead and call this inheritance. Finish. I don't have anything over here. So let's go ahead. I'm going to create a document, a file first. Uh, I'm sorry, a uh, text file. Let's go ahead. Yeah, create a file. Let's just call it. Um, inheritance file. Okay, finish. Again, this is going to be notes, so I'm just going to keep it like that. Uh, inheritance. Let's refactor it, rename it. Uh, inheritance notes. Okay, fine. So what is inheritance, right? Let's go ahead and get this thing done. What is inheritance? Now, inheritance is when we want to inherit attributes and methods from another class, okay? And there's always a parent-child relationship. So parents are usually called uh, a super class. That's where uh, we basically inherit from. And then we also have a child class where they inherit what where basically child is inheriting from the parent class, right? And we can inherit from another class by using the keyword extend. Okay. Um, I know that was a lot of words. So let me actually write down a couple of these things so it's easier for you guys to understand. Um inheritance is when we want to uh inherit inherit attributes and methods from another another class okay um so there there is parent aisle relationship okay parent is almost the same thing as a super class okay super class this is where the class is being inherited from okay this is where they come to, to be inherited from. And child, which is a subclass, this is the class that inherits from parent or another class. Okay? And to inherit from a class, we have to use the extend keyword, okay? So this extend keyword is very critical. Again, we're going to go through all these things uh, very, very shortly, or right now, actually. So before we do this thing, right, let's say let's say we have a car company, right? Or let's say I own a bunch of different cars. So you know what, let's just say we have, we have a car company, right? In this class, in this, in the, in a car company, we just, you know, talk out loud in a car company, let's say, you know, uh, if we, if we have a BMW or Mercedes or, you know, Maserati or Lamborghini or whatever, you know, there are different classes that exist right? Even for Mercedes or BMW, there are different classes that exist, right? Um, they have a sports version, they have classic version, they have, you know, there's like various one that exist, 
uh, and there's also for regular driving. But all of them, they have certain behavior that is the same, which is, you know, they all have, usually they all have four doors, uh, uh, four windows, uh, you know, not including the, 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 the glass that you have on the front and the back. There's four wheels, you know, you can, if you, if you accelerate, you know, your car goes faster. If you put it on brake, your car stops, uh, you know, the left signal, right, right signal. So it's like, you know, many of those behavior are the same. So let's go ahead and let's stop talking and let's go ahead and start building something, right? And let's say, uh, let's create a class. Let's just call it car one, right? I don't don't select this public static void main yet. Let's just go ahead and create this. Let's say I have car one. I have car two. And I have let's say car three. Okay. Now let's say car one. Here, let me just go back to this car one. Save this thing. So let's say this car one. Car one is, uh, it has some behavior, right? Let's say this is, uh, actually let's create some other things. Let's go ahead and create a couple of methods first. Let's say public static void. And let's say, um, let's say um, speed up, right? speed up so this is this would be some behavior that this car has so car one what it can do speed for speeding up it's saying uh pressed press acceleration again i'm not sure what that's going press acceleration right that's for the speed up then we have another one that says public static void uh, slow down, right? Again, usually if we were to do this in uh, in an actual uh, work environment, you'll have lots of methods and everything. Uh, you'll have lots of codes, if else, you know, whatever. We're gonna have those codes in here. This is for just to understand the concept. This is what that this is what we're uh, putting this thing so you guys can understand this. In this one, let's say it's saying press break. Okay. Um, and then let's say public void public static void left signal that's out <clears throat> signal to to go left right I'm gonna copy this thing it's uh, too much typing and you're gonna create another one that it says instead of left it's just gonna say right signal to go right. Um, let me fix that. Okay. Okay, so I just have this, right? I just have this. Uh, there's nothing else. So let's say for car two, okay, let me just save this thing really quick. For car two, uh, you know, I can also do this. I can also do all four of this. Okay. I can also do all four of this. Okay, so it's the same thing. There is no difference in car three. It can also do all four of this. There is no difference. Now, let's see in car one, there is something else that I can do, right? There is something else I can do. Let's say for car one, let's say this is a, the, I can change the mode from a, from a um, eco to sports, something like that, right? So let's say I have public static void um mode i'm just going to say the word mode right and it's out and you can say 
changed our mode. Or I can say this. Sports mode. Change car mode to sport. Okay. And I have that. And then on this one, Public static void. Uh, let's say you can collect to Bluetooth. Okay, so it says so. It's gonna say um, connected to Bluetooth. Car three. Public static void auto driver. Okay. Um, so it's going to say S out R is self driving. Whatever. Right. So as you can see, these four methods right here, the speed up slow down, left signal, right signal, they're the same. There is no difference. They're the same for car one, car two, car three. They're the same. So what we can do in, in this case, we can inherit, right? We don't have to go, we don't have to, you know, type the same thing over and over again because that basically defeats the whole purpose of object-oriented programming uh, or defeats the whole purpose, you know, the, the reason we code, it's so weak. We don't have to rewrite the same code over and over again. We can use that thing, right? We can we can use, we can write it one time and we can use it multiple times. So in this case, let's go ahead, I'll create a new class and I'll just call it par, right? I'll call it car, and what I can do in here, I'll copy, I'll cut all this for. Okay, I'll save this. In car, I'll save this. So in here, the only thing I have is this public void sports mode, because again, this is specifically for this car one. For car two, again, I don't need any of this, but Bluetooth, I'll just leave it there because that is specifically for that car, okay? So I'll save this. Again, I have this, right? So now what I can do, if I go over here and I just extend car, okay? Now I'll have all those options available here for this specific car one, and then extends R. So I'll have it available in car two, as well as for car three, right? Now let's go ahead. Now let's go ahead and let's call uh let's call this method. So that way we can we can see. Let's go ahead and let's create a main method because we don't have any main method. So let's call it our main. Okay. <clears throat> okay. So in here, what we can do, we can just go ahead and we can just create, uh, let's create an object, right? So I don't need to create an object for the car because Again, I'm extending it on this, right? So I'm extending it for this. So let's go ahead. Let's go ahead and do this. Let's say car one, right? Equals new car one. Now I have car, car one dot. If I do dot, you see, look at this. I have all these things different options, all these different options, right? Left signal, right signal, slow down, speed up, as well as sports mode. Now, 
on car one, I only have this sports mode over here. I do not have, like, you do not see anything, like the speed up, slow down, left signal, right signal. I do not see any of them over here. None of them are available over here, right? I have it available on the cars, but I do not have it on car one, car two, car three. The reason I have that, I have all those options in cars available is because I'm using this specific keyword extend and because I'm extending it. So whatever I put in this car method, everything will show up. Uh, every, everything will be available for car one to use, for car two to use, as well as car three to use. So if I go to over here, car one main, right? And again, dot, again, I have this sports mode, right? Then I can do here, I can do all of this, left signal, car one dot, right signal, car one dot, slow down, R1 dot speed up, right? And additionally, I also have R1 dot sports mode, right? This is for car one, right? This is for car one. Now, so here, this is where he created car one object, okay? Now, let's say I have car two. <clears throat> Again, I can do car two equal car two equals new car two. If I do car two dot, same thing, right? I have left signal, right signal, slow down, speed up. I also have Bluetooth, okay? So let's do this, let's do this. Car two dot, slow down, car two dot, right signal, car two dot, left signal, car two dot, Bluetooth, right? This Bluetooth is only applicable to car two. If I go to car one, right? If I say car one dot, see, I don't even have that option available, right? I don't see that Bluetooth available over here because Bluetooth is available only for car two. It is not available for car one, okay? Same thing in car two, I do not see a sports mode, right? If I do car two dot sports mode, I, that option is not even there, okay? That option, I don't even have that. I have Bluetooth here, but I do not have, I don't have that available there. Again, for car three is the same thing. There is no difference. Uh, and if I was to, <clears throat> if I was to run this thing, right? You can see that this is coming from this first one. Okay, here I can just, uh, uh, as out this is just you don't have to do that but I just put it there just so you can see the difference that right there is coming signal to go left there you go I'm sorry signal to go left which is the left signal car one right signal signal to go right then the press the Press the brake right there, slow down, then the speed up, acceleration, and then changed car mode to sports. And then for this one, for the car two, again, you have acceleration, brake, left, right, as well as the Bluetooth, right? Again, that's how you basically you, um, uh, ex, uh, inherit, basically. That's how you do inheritance. Um, you can use this specific keyword extend in order to do this thing. So hopefully this lesson made sense to you guys. Uh, if you do have any questions or comments, please do let me know. Again, thank you so much, guys. Please don't forget to subscribe, like. I really appreciate your uh, subscription. Thank you so much, guys. Have a good one.